Is it too close? Okay. Tell me when. Hello everyone. That was a loud action. Um, uh, an action that's equally loud, unfortunately. Hello, Soko family. God bless you, etc. Is that um, basically a Pakistani court has found that a 14 year old girl who was abducted at gunpoint, let me repeat that gunpoint, she didn't wander off and you know mistakenly agreed to go with a guy after some lies. She was abducted at gunpoint. Her name is Maria Shabazz. Some of you may remember that I've spoken about her previously. So she was abducted and forcibly um, Islamized. She was made to take the Shahada and she was uh, raped, I guess you could call it, but not legally. She was forced into an Islamic marriage. Her abductor initially produced a certificate of marriage at 18 years old. Her mother, who had a heart attack at one of the hearings, uh, God bless her, and who is beside herself has vouched that she is not 19. She was 14 when she was abducted. Um, and now a, a court, an earlier court has um, been overturned by the High Court in Lahore, which has ruled that um, the order by Faisalabad District and Sessions Court, which put her in a women's shelter, is to be negated. She is to be returned to her a kidnapper. Um, Mohammed Nakash and two accomplices um, abducted Maria and as as of right now she is to be returned to her abductor I'd like everybody please to look into the persecution of Christians and Hindus to be fair in Pakistan unfortunately by by Muslims so there are some other stats that I wanted to tell you um, that according to a two, 2014 study by the movement for solidarity and peace Pakistan an estimated 1,000 women and girls from Pakistan's Hindu and Christian community are abducted, forcibly married to their captors and forcibly converted to Islam every single year. Uh, the issue of religion is also often injected into cases of sexual assault to place religious minority victims at a disadvantage. So what I would like to, uh, you to focus your hearts on in your prayer is uh, for the ladies and girls of Pakistan. As some of the Christians watching will be aware, um, even Aisha said that she's seen no women suffering as the believing women do. Although, to be fair, she wasn't in modern day Pakistan when she said so. So please do keep Pakistan close to your heart. It's number four or five in the top 50 countries for persecution. It's, uh, I think, the second highest Muslim uh, oppression uh, in those top 50s. Of course, um, secularism is at, at the top with North Korea. Please do pray for Maria specifically and for her poor, distraught mother who is suffering ill health as a direct result of her daughter being, again, kidnapped at gunpoint by multiple men, raped, forced into a marriage, and deemed in a Sharia ruling, there's no other way around it, to return her to her abductor and I pray for Maria, I pray for her mother, I pray for all of the Christian uh, ladies and girls in Pakistan and the Hindus and the Muslim ladies and girls and the atheists and the agnostics and the Sikhs and basically women and girls, that's not men for anyone who may be having transgender like imaginings, that's women and girls. Those with uteruses or for some medical reason, the absence of those people in Pakistan, please keep them close to your heart. Ask the Lord to pour out his spirit into their hearts and to the hearts of their abductors, rapists, um, you know, and abusers. And I thank you all, and I'm going to be chatting to you again ever so soon. God bless. Bye bye.